you guys read right I found a cool video effects um, on my MacBook Pro which is so awesome um, and it is called video effects light and the intro that you guys seen um, at the beginning I use this uh, video effects light to make that which is so so stinking cool like I absolutely love it um, now that I found it and they do have a paid version and they do have a free version in the app store for the MacBook um, but I have the free one and there's so many effects that you can use for the free one that you know you don't have to bother paying for it I didn't I mean down the road I may just to see what there is available but for now free is fine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and uh, under here I'm under free effects and there are 17 that are free which are so cool what they do is they show a video and then they show how it looks so this is the um, acrylic comic and this is how it looks and you can go through and just like click all of them like here's a freaking clock alert um, there's like so many different different ones they have these basic filters that you can use um, that you can normally find in your um, video editors like here's some funky ones like there there's a bunch like chaos city lights you know just just a bunch of just a bunch of cool ones like here's the pencil one for a video like you know and I, I like to use these to make intros you know because I think that they're cool like here's some cos what is that cosmos you know comic book you know some of these are just really cool you know and their effects on the video like here's a kaleidoscope it says evolution but it looks like a kaleidoscope to me but um, you know fish eyes flip it upside down like there's there's so many like that you can choose from like all of these are um, the free ones which are really cool looks like a bunch of balls you know just you know oh here's an actual kaleidoscope you know there's a bunch that you can play with you know like I think these are just really cool you know some of them are like what the heck is that this is another one that you guys seen where it's pop art which I think is like really really cool um, and there's some that I may never use you know it's a quarter to 12 that's a cool clock you know another kaleidoscope looking one Oh, this one slides the images. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, there's there's so many there's so many to choose from, which is really cool. This one's squeezing into the video. <laughs> but you know, and like I said, these are just the free ones. And there's so many, like I said, there's seven seventeen to choose for the free ones. You know, and here's twirl twirling out videos, going into a video. You know, these could be good transitions too if you want to put videos in here. I mean, like, yeah, so I think this app is really, really cool, um, and what I'm going to do is, you know, use this one, for example, and then you can, and what you do is, um, for this specific app, try, oh, you want to press video, right here, drag video into the view, I was under, um, picture, so over here, you know, you can use that, or you can do built-in camera, if you guys want to see how I'm looking now, recording this to you guys, you computer, but I'm going to, let's see, let's use an image. Say for instance, you wanted to use, there we go, an image works. If you wanted to make an animated picture of, um, for your, an intro with like words going across the screen, like say for example, like pick art, you know, you can have that as your intro. Um, kaleidoscope, you know, just you can use any of these you know it was a bad thing it, it works for the video but I just don't know why it's not working right now um, but you know like here I can have my photo look like it's on a bad TV and if you want if you know how to green screen you can put this video into a green screen of a TV so it looks like the TV's going bad you know like it, you can do anything with it and I think this app is really cool so um, definitely you know check it out if you do have a Mac computer you can save you know the images right to your desktop I always save them to my um to my uh 
can't even think of the damn name. Um, external hard drive. That's it. I always save it to my external hard drive because you only have so many, so much memory on a computer, which is so frustrating. So um, definitely save it on an external hard drive or a flash drive or whatever you're going to save your images or videos on. And yeah, definitely check it out. Um, if you do end up using this um, app, tag me down below, like, um, comment down below, send me over to your channel, to your videos. If you made an intro, send me over. I like to see people's creativity and I want to see, um, what, you know, I want to see what, um, what you guys come up with. And I think that will be so awesome. So hopefully this video was very helpful and, um, I apologize for the, the video thing not working but it does work because you guys obviously see my intro um and yeah so give this video a thumbs up guys make sure you stay subscribed to my channel for other how to's that are to come but you have to be subscribed to see what comes next um because it could be any type of video guys i do all sorts of videos so um stay awesome guys um have a blessed week and i will see you guys next time deuces Bye.